Hello everyone, the Skilled Roy here, back with another Guilty Gear Strive video. So it's been a few days since Biken has come out in Guilty Gear Strive, and man, she is an absolute blast to play against because I only play Happy Chaos and I'm enjoying shooting her from across the screen with my gun. But polarizing matchups aside, let's talk about the final DLC character for Guilty Gear Strive. For those of you who don't know, the season pass is about to wrap up with a final character coming to the game with both a story expansion as well as a uh, new stage coming with them as well. In my previous video, we spoke a lot about the data mining for this game and how there was very likely a couple characters in particular who would almost certainly be coming to the game. Out of that original list, many of them have already made it to the game, which is of course Gold Lewis, Happy Chaos, Jacko, and of course just now, Biken. But in particular, in the game's files, there's a couple characters that are seemingly ready to be given out as playable models. And that of course is Jam from my previous video, Asuka, and Slayer. Now first, let's talk about Jam. Jam has been in there presumably the longest, but her model is mostly just a port from Exerd. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing because obviously Biken is here and she's almost identical to her Exerd form, besides some slightly larger hair. But to me at least, it seems to be that Jam was probably considered early on and was either dropped or postponed to another season pass. The next two characters are either completely new models or have been updated since then. Let's start with Slayer. Slayer is of course our favorite dandy step monster, the absolutely crazy GG character who can blow you up off a single counter hit, and honestly I would absolutely love to have Slayer in here, if only to see how ridiculous his damage could be inside of Strive. Now of course some people will obviously point to Nagora Yuki as being sort of the counterpart for Slayer in this game, after all they share the same command grab, they both are vampires, they both do absurd damage. But honestly, the two characters approach the game in such dramatically different ways that I really don't think there's much of an issue. Not to mention, Slayer is a completely different type of aesthetic vampire than Nagoriyuki is, so I really think that he would be a great fit for the game. However, I do not think he is the last DLC character. Allow me to explain. So obviously, the most recent character, Biken, is a returning character. Now if you look at it, there's actually a particular sort of pattern going on here. Think about it, Gold Lewis came first and he was a new character for Guilty Gear. And then we got Jacko, who is a returning character. After that, we got Happy Chaos, the best character in Guilty Gear history. I mean, not biased at all, I promise. But he was, of course, a new character. And just now, we got Biken, a returning character. Logic would then dictate that the next character is likely a new character to the series. And if you've watched through the story mode, there isn't that many new characters who haven't had a chance to be playable yet. Gold Lewis was one of them, of course, Happy Chaos was the other, and the last one, the character who's been in Guilty Gear for games now, yet has never been playable, and that, of course, is that man, Asuka. Asuka, as we know, has a playable model in the game's files, so they are definitely planning something with him, but it's also important to note what things are coming with the final character. This is a story expansion and a new stage. And while I would love to imagine that we would get Slayer's Mansion, I do think this is probably going to be a unique Asuka stage with a story expansion to sort of tie up the loose ends at the end of the story. Slayer being added after not being a part of the story wouldn't make much sense considering he's not really attached to the current conflict going on. Meanwhile, Asuka is a central character of the series yet has never been playable up to this point. Considering they were willing to do the same thing for Happy Chaos, a character we've heard plenty about but has never been playable, I can only expect we'll get Asuka for the mentor versus student battle. Now of course this is purely speculation. While Asuka is a cool character design, I personally would love to have Slayer more, if only because I'm more familiar with what Slayer can do. But hey, who knows, Happy Chaos ended up being one of my favorite characters in Guilty Gear history, and Gold Lewis is a particularly interesting character in his own right. But hey, why don't you guys tell me, what DLC character do you want as the final character? Let your imagination run wild, who is your absolute favorite Guilty Gear character who is not in yet, or was there a particular NPC character who we haven't seen playable yet that you would love to see playable? Let me know in the comments below, otherwise I will hopefully see you all soon with the announcement of the fifth character. Catch you guys next time, peace out.